What would it look like if you could design the life and work that you wanted? Hi, my name is Dolores Hirschman from mastersinclary.com and I am doing this quick video for you from an island off the coast of Panama. And I wanna tell you a little bit of a story. It was years ago when I imagined what would it look like if someone were to pay for my work? My work is guiding service entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs to the clarity of message, business model, and action plan that they need to grow their business. And I said to myself, I know I would do this for free all day long, but what would it look like if someone were to pay me to come make a plan for their business and maybe fly me to wherever they are or or meet me in a location that they choose so that we can do really good work in an environment that we really both enjoy. That was something I dreamt of years ago and I, thought, I would say to myself, there's no way. First of all, no, who does that? And second, who would invest in my work for their business to such extent? Well, that was a conversation in my head and I wanna show you where I am. because I'm gonna turn it around I want you to see and appreciate where I am on a Tuesday morning. Yes, I am in an island off the coast of Panama. I flew in two days ago. A client of mine wanted to meet me here. We could have met in New York. That's where she was a week ago. And she said, no, let's meet in Panama because that's really a place that I cherish and it's a place where we can relax and really go deep and do deep work. So the plan that we have is we did a lot of work yesterday. We spent pretty much the whole day in a beautiful environment um, in Panama City overlooking the ocean. And we just used papers and post-it notes and markers. And we literally kind of wallpapered the main wall and set up her goals and her business for 2019. Now, today we are in what I call the digestion day. What that means is that we are taking a day in, not a day off, a day in. And that means that we chose a place, a location, where we could relax for the whole day. We just arrived to the island, we went for a swim. Now we're gonna go for lunch in just a little while. And we're gonna spend the day kind of touching in different points that we touched on yesterday, going deeper in some other points, but in a very kind of relaxed, explorative way nothing too too structured nothing too formal no commitment yet and then we'll go up back tonight and then tomorrow we'll go back to the drawing board and we're going to kind of see what simmered from the last two days what stayed with her from our first day of ideation to today our day of digestion and going in and kind of checking in with ourselves and see what part of this plan actually feels really aligned and what part doesn't and then tomorrow, we're gonna just go down to say, okay, what is our plan, right? And we're gonna make a 12 month plan and probably a 24 month plan as well. So years ago, I would only dream of doing this, but it took me about three to four years to realize this dream. And this, this week is one example. And I do this um, also, people fly in to me or I fly to other locations as well. So I wanna give you a chance to figure out how you can create and make real maybe a life and work that you've been kind of thinking of in your mind but that in your logical thinking it, it makes no sense it makes absolutely no sense it's never going to happen so here's three little tiny exercises i'm going to give you to do right now i'm going to see if i can find somewhere i can sit let me see i'll sit right here with you and so here are three things we're going to do step number one Grab a piece of paper and write down what would it look like? Well, here's the thing. Grab a piece of paper and imagine that you are waking up on a Tuesday morning of your ideal life. I want you to literally write down as if you're writing in a journal and say, today, you know, I'm having this for breakfast and I'm having breakfast, I don't know, in your kitchen or in a terrace overlooking the ocean or in the mountains, wherever you want to be. And then write down everything that's going to happen that day here's what i want you to imagine imagine that you're leaving it but go down to the details what are you wearing who are you having your meals with um what kind of work are you doing 
Uh, what kind of books are you reading? What kind of fun are you having? Like, what is your fun life, right? Like you can say, oh, well, last night I had a great time doing X, Y, Z. Um, and where in the world are you? The more detail you give it, and please do not judge yourself. Just go for it, whatever comes up. The more detail you give it, the more it can actually feel real and, 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 and kind of engage your five senses. Now, step number two. I wanted to write down all the things that you love doing. Things that maybe you take for granted or maybe people ask you for help and you give help in this way over and over again. Kind of things that you do for free all day long. Just make that list. And now I want you to, step number three, I want you to make a list next to the list of things that you would do for free all day long. What kind of jobs or what kind of, let's put it this way, needs would those things um, fulfill? For example, I don't know. I have spent my life helping people figure out the mess in their head. When someone was like, well, I, you know, I know what I want to do, I just have no idea what is the first step. I would love that because for me it was like a puzzle that needed to be built. So I would help them break down the puzzle pieces of their thoughts or the project and then kind of make a plan of action and align things and see what made sense and how to go about it. I've done that since I was very little. Um, and so for me, it took me quite a few years to understand that that was something that people actually needed, especially people um, starting or running businesses or looking for a next stage of growth, that there were things that they could sense they, they, they could do or that wanted to do, but they just didn't know how to start. So that was my way of matching what I would do for free all day long to uh, some need in the world. Maybe for you is you love nutrition and you love helping someone understand you know, what feels good in their body and you're doing that for free all day long. Maybe you can do something like that. Or maybe you love, I don't know, you have a deep knowledge in accounting or taxes or travel. And uh, maybe you've only looked at traditional jobs around that skill, but what would it look like to do it the way you do it for your friends? Again, think about what things are you doing for free that you took for granted and let's align it with a need in the world. Now, when you do the three exercises, all you need to do, these are three pieces of a really big puzzle. All you need to do is start designing this need that you're gonna fulfill in the world with the life that you lined up in step one and start deciding how you're going to bring this work into the world and how it aligns with the way you want to live. So. That's all I have for you for today. I am going to spend a wonderful day on the island today and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. And if you're curious about my Clarity Days, simply send me an email. The email address is under this video and ask what would it look like for you and I to work on your 12 month or next year or next 24 months detailed plan so you can realize the goals for your life and your business. Sending you a really big hug and I will leave you with this view.